Hello everyone and welcome to this, the final episode of Jam Week Fall 2020. My name is Kasanis. All right, guys, this is the end. We have done it. My students did a great job. I'm not going to go over my game again. You guys have seen it, so I'm just going to go over the students' games. Uh, I'm going to show you some of their gameplay and kind of explain uh, my thoughts on each of the individual games. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, this first game is called The Other Side. You saw they had three different levels there. Remember the theme of the jam was death is not the end. In this particular game, you control the board. You're able to rotate the board uh, counterclockwise or clockwise, and your responsibility, and you can also move your character. Your responsibility is to pick up a key and get to the door. If you get to the door, then you get on to the next level. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed this game. It was super simplistic, and it was pretty darn solid as well. Uh, if you die, then you are transported into the other side or onto the other side. On the other side, you have to get to one of those glowing orbs to return it to your body. So that's the entirety of this game. It's, uh, it was really good. I really enjoyed this game. Alright guys, so this one is called Memento Mori. In this particular game, let me just hit start here so we can see. In this game, what we need to do is we need to go through and uh, try and release souls to the afterlife. Uh, so we have to try and choose the proper uh, the proper items to give to the people who are kind of stuck in this world. So example, Colin Devil Hutchins, a daring man who inspired courage in others. If we click on the notebook up here, it gives us there a little bit more about their life story. An old evil Knievel style stuntman, a final send off stunt ended their career with a bang. So obviously they were in some kind of explosion or something. Uh, uh, poor heart gave out, so he had a heart attack. Um, he started down the ramp first. Uh, his, his body nailed the landing, cementing it as the stunt that uh, transcended death. So afterwards, what I can do is I can click back here, and I have to give this guy a couple of different things. Now, I have to decide what he wants. I'm going to try giving him a helmet. So if I click on the helmet, I just got to click on it, sorry. If I give him the helmet, it'll go over in the slot, and he's also Evil Knievel, so I'm going to give him this thing here. Now, once I've given him those two items, uh, then I can go on to the next. You don't have to wait. All right, guys, this game is called Goop, and Goop is a puzzle game. Uh, let me just hit start here and show you the first level. Uh, in Goop, you are playing this little character, and your intention is to release your ghost to take over bodies that are scattered around the screen and solve the puzzle, basically to get to this green square. Uh, so let me just play through the level so you can see it. All right, guys, this next game is called Death is Not the End. That's what they called it. They named it right after the, after the jam. And in this particular game, it's a meme-based game, all right? It's a meme game in which you're kind of groundhogging, meaning you wake up each day. If you die, you wake up each day restarting that particular day. All right, guys, let's take a look at Death is Not the End.
All right, guys, this is Crypt Crawl, and Crypt Call, Crawl was pretty darn solid. A um, little bit of prologue here. You are a, a person who can't die. Uh, so this, the humans can push boxes. That's how this game works. The humans can push boxes onto these pressure plates, and they can make it through the doors. The humans can then kill themselves uh, on these spikes when they become a zombie, and the zombies can throw their arm like... Oops, got stuck there. The zombies can throw their arm to then allow the arm to move around. Oops, wrong, the wrong button. The arm to move around and push the pressure plates, and that allows the zombie to leave as well. Okay, let me go here and across. There we go. Uh, the zombies can also kill themselves, and when they do, they can become ghosts. The ghosts can travel around. They can release other bodies and possess those bodies, and in turn, that those humans can do something. So again, this human has to push this down and get the key oops i keep pushing the wrong darn buttons here <laughs> i'm trying to do too much at the same time all right get the key and then once they get the key they can open the lock and go on to the next one all right and the gameplay continues i really 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 liked this game uh very very solid game so move my arm all right guys this next game is called dint um and in dint you you are a human who was killed you are now a ghost and you have to try and get back to your human form uh through completing various tasks you will go from ghost to skeleton to zombie to human all right so let's play through it for a little bit i'll give you guys a, a quick example of how you play this game All right, guys, this next game is called Tomo. Uh, I'm not going to suggest where the art, uh, <laughs> what the art is influenced by. Tomo is an, in, is a, an infinite runner, and uh, basically as an infinite runner, you start off as a ground running being, and you are able to become a ghost and then uh, traverse back into your body, all right? And the, the point is to collect as many coins or nuts, I guess it is, as you possibly can. So let's take a look at Tomo. Okay, guys, so this next game is either called An Almost Never Ending Journey or maybe it's called Death is Not the End. I'm not really sure um, what this game is called, but it's a really great game. It's a physics based game, it's pretty darn complete. Um, you start off as, a, as a, a human, you can jump through these spikes, and then you become a skeleton, and the skeleton travels on the opposite side. It's a physics based game, it's actually really well done. Let's take a look at it right now. Okay, guys, this game is called Rebeginnings, and it is a narrative-style game that leads into a uh, into this puzzle-type game. So um, I'm going to go through this very quickly. The art style is really, really nice. Uh, it's really got kind of a gloomy background, really nice art style in there. It introduces these three characters, and the characters are going into this kind of um, old Victorian mansion. 
uh, and afterwards you have to try and clear yourself a path to uh, to the um, new uh, sorry to the door so let me let me get through this here I'm not gonna read the whole thing because I only have a, a couple of seconds for each game here um, but let's go through it like I said the art style is fantastic um, I really like what they've done here So these, these three girls have woken up inside this Victorian mansion. So in this particular game, what I have to try and do is, is get this key and then get to this door. So I, it's kind of this Tetris-like game where I have to try and clear a path to the door. Uh, let's see if I can figure it out. So I'm going to move each of my pieces here. I'm going to move the pieces out of the way. Uh, maybe I'll do it like this. Uh, let's see. Path there. Let me move this one out of the way as well. I still have a path, so that's good. Let's move this. Let's move this. I'm talking over this and I shouldn't be. I should just be playing it. Um, Okay, there we go, guys, and now it goes on to the next level. I wake up again, and the entire thing repeats. Each time, there's a puzzle that I have to try and solve. All right, guys, this game is called Gushin, and in this game, you play... It's a side-scrolling platformer, and you play this character up here. Now, this character can release his soul or release his ghost. That kind of goes with the death is not the end. Uh, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to get to the diamond on each individual level. Uh, so in this particular level, um, I have to travel downwards. Now, the interesting thing about this game is there's restrictions on how you can use your ghost. Uh, so if I release my ghost, for example, my ghost can only travel in the horizontal. It can't travel up or down, all right? And it can't pick anything up. Uh, however, I can possess other creatures. So if I possess the spider, I now have the spider's abilities. All right. So the spider ability, for example, here is I can jump and... Oh, it's the upward button. I can jump and then I can actually go through and complete that level. Each and every time, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get to the diamond. All right. So the main character can jump and the other creatures can all do something. They have these two creatures finished and they plan on adding a lot more. So it's basically a physics-type type game as well. All right, guys, this game is called Flesh and Bone. And in Flesh and Bone, uh, you are a knight. You have the ability to fight skeletons. Uh, you are trying to, uh, it's a, basically a platformer, and you are trying to get from one end of the platform to the other. All right, let's take a look at Flesh and Bone. So that brings us to the end of Jam Week Fall 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let the students know down below. All right, everyone. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.